This video is sponsored in part by Stay Sharp, Broadhead Sharpening Guide. John Lusk here of Lusk Archery Adventures. Series testing, successful hunting. I've got a really fun broadhead battle lined up for today. The other day I was in my storage room and I was looking through my broadhead bin of all the unused broadheads that I have from 2020. <laughs> I have a lot of them. And so then I was wondering, well, how many of them are mechanicals? And I found 16 new mechanical heads in that bin. And I thought, why not do a broadhead battle durability destruction test in a knockout round style to where I just keep shooting them through different meetings mediums until the broadheads either break or they bend super significantly. And if they break or they bend super significantly, a little bend is okay, then they get knocked out and taken out. And I'm just going to keep doing that until there's one winner because there can only be one in this broadhead battle, all right? And for the mediums for the testing, I've got a bunch of fun things lined up. First of all, I've got this 3 8 inch plywood. And this came from a crate. I got a bunch of it because it came from a crate that had this bad boy in it. It just got shipped to me last week from Africa. So I cut it all up and I'm going to shoot these, uh, these heads through that plywood. And then I've also got a bunch of elk scapula. And so I'm going to shoot them through the elk scapula. And after doing that a few times, I'm going to see how they're doing. I may go into some other rounds, like I may do concrete, I may do steel, who knows. We're going to see how many are left and how they're doing. But it's going to be a fun test nonetheless. And like I said, there's 16 heads. I've got the, uh, the Jekyll and Hyde here. I've got the Dead Meat, the uh, Sever 1.5, Kill Zone, Schwacker 3 Blade, Wasp, Jackhammer. And then over here, i got the Thrive the Schwacker All Steel 2-Blade, uh, Four Blade Grim Reaper, Rage and C, and then the Rage 150 Grain Tripan All Steel, Sever Robusto All Steel, uh, Afflictor Ultraviolet, D-Power Mechanical, and then a Grim Reaper Hybrid, and then the Muzzy X. So that's the lineup here for today. And as always, I'm going to be using my uh, Bowtech SR6, Set at 72 pounds, 27 inch draw, and for most of the tests, I'm going to be using uh, Bishop FOC King Arrow. I may use the uh, the Fad Eliminator. They're super durable arrow. Arrow, the same arrow that I took this bad boy with. Okay, it only took one arrow to do it. Okay, those things are really incredible arrows. But I may use that if I go to concrete and stuff. But we'll see how the battle is progressing. Okay, so you ready? Who do you think is going to be the winner? Let's let this broadhead battle of mechanicals in the destruction, durability, knockout round test begin. Jekyll and Hyde. Sever 1.5. Schwacker 3 blade. Dead meat. And the arrows are at different angles because I'm moving around. NAP kill zone. Grim Reaper. Mini Mag 4 blade. Wasp Jackhammer. Rage NC. Muzzy X, <laughs> Tripan, <laughs> Schwacker 2 Blade, All Steel, <laughs> Thrive, <laughs> D Power, <laughs> Grim Reaper Hybrid, <laughs> Afflictor, Ultraviolet, <laughs> Sever Robusto. <laughs> Here's the heads after the first round, and the top, there's only one that broke, and that was the, uh, the Rage NC. It broke off uh, both of the ends of its, of its blades right there, as you can see. Uh, this line, all of them got a little bit bent, and so you can see the bend in them. And then this line, there was no damage at all. So now I'm ready for round number two, minus the Rage NC. For round two, I'm going with the Elk Scapula, and I'm going to do my best to shoot each of them into an area that's of the same thickness. And I've got a bunch of them, so hopefully I'll be able to do that across the board for all of them. First is the uh, the Rage Tripan, all steel. Schwacker two blade, all steel. Jekyll and Hyde. Schwacker three blade. Thrive. D Power Mechanical. Muzzy X. Wasp Jackhammer. Dead Meat. Grim Reaper four blade. Sever 1.5. Kill Zone. Sever Robusto. Afflictor Ultraviolet. Grim Reaper Hybrid. Here's the heads after round two, which was the elk scapula. The, uh, the kill zone uh, lost a blade. It just sheared off right there. I could hear it sp spray into my wall, <laughs> but I couldn't find it. 
And then, uh, then this is the Grim Reaper 4 blade. And when I did the test on this, I did a broadhead test on it, this is exactly what happened. This cup is just a weak point and it, it breaks. And you can see that the cup broke and then the blades come off of this ring. So this little ring is what holds them in place. The blades are fine, but the, the little ring is what breaks. Now, a viewer pointed out that if you order the 125 grain replacement cups and put them on a 100 grain broadhead, which you can do, it makes them much more durable and that cup doesn't break. And I did that as a test and it didn't break like that. Now here's all the heads that uh, either were bent and bent more or started to bend for the first time. And then these are the three that haven't experienced any wear yet. The Sever 1.5, the Sever Robusto, and the Grim Reaper Hybrid. Now I'm going with a 22 gauge steel plate. First is the Afflictor Ultraviolet. <laughs> Jekyll and Hyde. <laughs> Muzzy X. <laughs> Wasp Jackhammer, Dead Meat, Thrive, Deep Power, Schwacker 3 Blade, Rage Tripan, All Steel, Schwacker 2 Blade, All Steel, Sever 1.5, Sever Robusto, Grim Reaper Hybrid. So here's the heads after round three, which was the 22 gauge steel plate. And let me start by saying props to all these heads. I mean, they made it through a 3 8 inch of plywood and through a hardened elk scapula, and we're still going strong. Uh, now, some of them got really significantly bent up, and their cutting uh, surface, cutting diameter shrunk considerably, but still, they held together. And then, if you saw the shots, all of them put nice holes in the steel plate, so they even performed in that way as well. But this top row all got knocked out in this round. This was the wasp. And I'm not sure what happened to the broadhead, but the blade just shot all the way back and hit the ceiling by me and landed at my feet. The, uh, the broadhead itself just fell off somewhere inside my target. And then the Thrive lost a blade on that one. The, uh, the Jekyll and Hyde barely lost the end of this blade, but it did break off right there. And then the, uh, the Afflictor Ultraviolet lost a blade in the steel. The D-Power Mechanical lost a blade. The, um, the steel 150 grain tripan lost a blade, just the end of it right there. The Schwacker lost a blade as well. Then these heads got um, survived, but they got bent. This is the, uh, the Schwacker two blade held together. It just got more bent up. Okay, now this is the Muzzy X. And as I look at this, it's kind of cheating, to be honest, because what happens is when it goes through an animal or goes through something, the blades like go back to that small. And so it's, it's really not, not even cutting. Um, but this, this is cutting and this is holding together. So, you know, but it did hold together. And then here's the, um, the dead meat. I'm surprised the dead meat has held together. In other tests, they've lost a blade pretty easily, but it's done well in this one. And then the, uh, the Grim Reaper hybrid. Man, this head is like in almost pristine shape. This is impressive. Now it is a hybrid, so it's just taken the, the it's taken the brunt on those fixed blades, but still it's performed very well. And then here's the two severs that are in really great shape, the 1.5 and then the uh, Robusto, it's a 2.0. Now for the fourth round, I'm going with a 22 gauge steel plate backed up by 3 8 inches of plywood. First the Schwacker two blade all steel. <laughs> Muzzy X. Dead meat. Sever Robusto. Sever 1.5. Grim Reaper Hybrid. Here are the heads after round four, which was the 22 gauge steel plate and the 3 8 inches of plywood. And again, props to all these heads for making it so far. Uh, the Grim Reaper finally lost a blade there on the mechanical blade. The rest of it, the tip and the, uh, the fixed blades are still in great shape. And the dead meat lost a blade. I could hear it ricochet into the wall, but I couldn't find it. The, uh, the Schwacker got bent a bit more, but it still stayed intact. Matter of fact, that bend makes it rotate really well. I could see it rotating in the target. And then here's the Muzzy X that kind of has very little blade exposed, especially since these got bent down so much, but it's still holding together. And then the, uh, the two severs, the, uh, the Robusto, which is a two inch cut, and the 1.5 are still in really good shape. The, the 1.5 blades got a bit nicked up there, um, one blade, 
the other blade's in great shape, and both of the blades are in great shape on the Robusto. Okay, this might be the final round. We're going with the cinder block. First, the Muzzy X. Schwacker 2 blade, all steel. Sever 1.5. Wow, that one stuck. Here's the Sever 1.5. It really embedded in the, uh, the concrete. Sever Robusto. Here's the Sever Robusto. You can see it mushroomed my arrow, which was really a surprise. But I shot it. The insert had pulled out a little bit. I probably shouldn't have shot it, but I did anyway. And man, it embedded. I mean, I mean that is in there. Gosh. I've never seen one stick like this. I might need King Arthur on this one. Since the arrow's already broken, let me use this for leverage. feel myself bending it. Yeah, I bent it. <laughs> I broke it off. I broke the tip off. It's still stuck right in there. Wow, that's impressive. Here's the heads after going into the cinder block. And you can see what happens to an aluminum ferrule there. This one just broke in half. But man, that <laughs> held up really well up until then. Okay, and here's the uh, the Schwacker two blade. It did very well in the cinder block. You saw it took a big chunk of it out, and the tip held up very well. The blades never hit the cinder block, and they're all kind of curly cued from earlier shots. This is the Sever 1.5. The tip, it's got cinder block all over it, but it's still in really good shape. And then here's the 2.0 Robusto. That penetrated so far, I literally broke off the tip in it when I was bending it, pulling it out. I could feel it breaking. Really impressive. All these, very impressive, especially these three. Okay, that was really fun, just to shoot all those mechanicals through all those different mediums. And man, I gotta tell you, I was impressed with a lot of them. Some of them surprised me. Um, for the good, some of them surprised me for the bad, but for the most part, all of them really proved themselves to be fairly durable. And uh, so I got to declare a winner after all of this. And these are the three that made it through the cinder block. The, uh, the Schwacker stainless steel did very well. The, uh, the Sever Robusto, man, that embedded so deeply in the steel that I literally had to bend it and break it off. So it's kind of not fair that I broke it off like that, because it didn't break, I don't think. And then, uh, and then here's the Sever 1.5. So to declare a winner, really all of these are, are winners. I mean, they all did very well. Um, but between these, I have to go with the Sever 1.5. Um, just because it's still in really, really good shape. Honestly, I think the, the Robusto did just as well, but because the tip broke off, it's my fault. I knew it was. I couldn't get it out without it breaking off. Um, so it did really well. It gets second place, close second. And then third place goes to the Schwacker. It did well in the center block, but because the blades got so bent up um, and are unusable again, I, I have to give that third place. So congratulations to all three of these, but the Sever 1.5 continues to reign supreme.